guys? It's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day to kind of lose weight, kind of not. That's not really my main concern, but I do try to eat as healthy as I can. And I'm not going to sit here and blab like I normally do. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The red button is down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat are in the description box down below for you guys. I hope you guys like this video and let's just get into it. So I like to start off every morning with um, some fresh water and I fill up my water bottle and I drink that um, throughout the day. If you've seen my videos, you know I pretty much make the same breakfast every single morning. Um, I like to have like one or two eggs. I always put um, a little splash of milk to make them really fluffy. And I add a little bit of cheese just to make them like a cheesy scrambled egg with some salt and pepper. I like to keep it really basic and really simple. I always like to make sure I have um, some fruit in the morning to kind of give me some energy and wake me up. So I go through my fridge, see whatever fruit I have, and I put um, just a couple on the side just so like I said, I have some energy to get me through the day. Um, I also love avocado. It is my favorite thing ever. So I have half of an avocado in the morning. And then I use the other half a little bit later on around lunchtime, which you guys will see. I always have to have coffee in the morning or else I will have horrible caffeine withdrawals because I am addicted. <laughs> so I use almond milk creamer and it is vanilla. It's nice and creamy and really good. Doesn't even taste um, like an almond milk creamer. It tastes like normal creamer. So um, I have to make my coffee iced, so I put it in the fridge when I first make it so that I can kind of cool off a little bit. And then once I'm pretty much done with my breakfast, I will put some ice cubes in it to make it an iced coffee. I love adding some whipped cream on top with a little drizzle of caramel sauce. It is my little secret to making it even more creamy and delicious. For lunch, I always have a smoothie bowl. So I take this berry medley frozen fruit and it has like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all that good stuff. I don't really measure it out. I kind of just take a couple handfuls and throw them in. I like to use almond milk with my smoothies. I do try and limit my dairy as much as I can. This is where the other half of that avocado comes in. So I just like scoop the rest of it out and put it in the smoothie. It makes it super creamy. I start off with less almond milk than I probably should, but I like this smoothie to be thick. I don't like it really runny. So I start off with very little milk and then I kind of just watch as it blends to see if I need to add a little bit more. So with everything that I put on top, today I noticed that I had some kiwi that was going bad. So I just kind of sliced that up into little thin slices and put that on top of the smoothie bowl, as well as like raspberries, blueberries, and some cut up strawberries.
I also add this organic vanilla almond granola as well as a bunch of chia seeds. Uh, chia seeds are really good with protein, so I like to add a bunch of that on there. And then the last thing I like to put on there is some almond butter. And the almond butter mixed with like strawberries and blueberries and all that stuff like all mixed together is so freaking good. For a snack, my favorite, the Kind Bars. I love the caramel almond sea salt one. For dinner, I wanted to try these sweet potatoes that I found at the grocery store. It's just like frozen diced sweet potatoes. And I wanted to use some vegetables that I had in my freezer, so I had some leftover Brussels sprouts. So I just put them in um, a big like baking pan with some olive oil, um, salt and pepper and just kind of mix it together. Along with that, I had a piece of salmon. I'm pretty boring with my seasoning. So again, I just used olive oil, salt, pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I put a little extra salt and pepper on top once everything was done. And that was my dinner, nice and simple. For dessert, I had dairy-free yogurt, uh, the raspberry flavor. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you liked it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The red button is down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. My Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat are in the description box down below for you guys. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.